what are you doing? Those are mine. You've already had breakfast. Thank you very much. And you stole my spot last night. And now you're going to steal my spot again. He's so rude. So rude. Hola, guys. Happy Tuesday. Yes. I just keep throwing on the same hoodie. Because <laughs> I just don't care about much right now. I am showering, okay, and I am deodorizing, and I am changing the underpants and the bottoms, but the same hoodie keeps getting thrown on because it's comfortable, and that's what I need right now. Hi. He has been so stuck to me. I think he knows. I think I'm falling into a funk. I really do. Uh, today is day two. Yesterday. What did we do yesterday? Okay, so little dude... I'm going to jump right into it. Did I spoil it, guys? Hi. Um, little dude woke up Sunday sore on one side of his neck. And um, that's it. That's all it took. I'm taking him to the doctor. I had already planned on taking him to the doctor. Uh, but he got sore around the same time that I had decided we're going to the doctor. Of course, there's nothing open on Sunday. Um, and I was ebbing off his owl with some Tylenol. Uh, so we didn't go to care now on Sunday, but then, um, Sunday night into Monday morning, I'm like, we're going to get this taken care of. Now the plan was for Sunday to go to the impound lot, get the last of my possessions out of my car, go rent a car. Well, the rental places aren't open on Sunday. I didn't know this. I figured people travel, right? It's been so long since I rented a car. I didn't know they weren't open on Sunday. And the um, the uh, impound lot was open, but my big dude was like, you know what, let's just do everything on Monday. We'll go to the impound lot, get your stuff. We'll go get your car rented. Then you can um, go to the doctor because my plan was to go take us to the doctor on Monday because I got appointments for Monday. So... Um, Clearer heads prevail. My big dude is just so freaking awesome. Um, he helped rain down my, uh, you know. Let me stretch over here because I'm, 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 I'm stress eating. And my kitty wants it. Okay. Um, am I missing a bag? I think I either left a bag in the car or on the sofa hang on guys okay i left a bag downstairs of my shouldn't be but i am um eating and drinking what was i saying so anywho my big dude was like let's just get everything done monday but i'm like but you have to go to bed because you work night shift and i don't want you to be all sleepy because you have me out in the street all morning long and he's like mom i don't care he's like we need to get you and Caleb situated. I don't care. Don't worry about it. I'll be fine. I'm a whole grown man. Uh, I was in the military. I went without sleep. So I'm like, okay. So Monday, we get up. I am so paranoid right now. I am convinced that the sky is falling at any given moment. And um, I had preferred that little dude go with me to um, run all my errands. But couldn't sleep either i think he was he's nervous and scared about everything that happened if there are any latinos out there have you all heard of um que se asustan you get scared Tienes que curar de susto. you have to have the the scare cure and different latinos have different cures for it some is to eat salt put salt on your fingers some is certain prayers some are certain little rituals i don't know it's just something that we grew up with where if you get scared or you witness something or experience something traumatizing or scary um if you're unable to sleep now most of us understand that it's just stress of course that's why you can't sleep or that's why you're kind of spooked or whatever but in the latino culture es que te asustaste okay you got scared and you got to get that fear out so there's all these little cures for it but um where was i going with this oh he was um he he wasn't able to sleep and i know it's because you know just the stress of everything uh, so I didn't want to wake him up early. So the night before I cleared. 
Hello. It's a trash truck. I'm telling you guys, I'm so freaking jumpy. Um, so he didn't really see it the night before. So the night before I cleared it with him, I asked him, did he want to go do all the running around with us or stay home? Because every nothing is too um, too far away, not the impound lot or anything. And he said he really just wanted to stay home. So I'm like, okay, an hour or two, he should be okay. I just didn't want to leave him by himself, but he's done it before when he misses a school bus or whatever. He's home all day by himself, but I'm just really, really hypersensitive and hyper spooked. But he stayed here. We went to the uh, impound lot. That was all of 30 minutes. Uh, I went ahead. I needed my work badge. I had left my badge there, and my plan was Monday I was going to do all that running around and then go to work. Um, but we didn't end up finishing till everything until about 2 o'clock. So there was no point in that. But anyway, um, so we went to the impound lot. You guys, I'm on the verge of crying all the time right now. Like anything can make me want to cry. I'm very, very sensitive. And when we pulled up, <laughs> I'm so, I'm such a mush. When we pulled up to the car, you know, the police officer guides us over to where my car is so I can get my positions. Now, I looked at the car. I've been looking at the pictures of the car, you know, but rolling up to my car in the car graveyard, you know, having just received a phone call from my insurance saying just based on the fact that my case went to his desk, it's probably going to be totaled. I mean, I'm not stupid. Y'all saw the damage. So, but just hearing that something I worked so hard for, it wasn't a brand new car, guys. It was a 2017. I got it in 2020, but it was, I've had a brand new car before, but I had had a piece of crap car for so long and struggled with that car for so long and put so much money in my old car that I finally worked and saved and my credit was awesome. And I got something I really wanted that I worked hard for and I loved that car. I know it's just a car, but I loved that car. It was, it, I loved that car and to see it all smashed up and to know I'm never going to drive it again, to know it died a painful death. It was just sad. So we pulled up on it and there's my crumpled baby and I started crying. And my son is like real, <laughs> he's like, mom, no, don't get emotional. It's just a car and she did her job and she kept y'all safe and you need to think about it that way. And he's right, but it's just something I work for, you know. I know it's just a car and I'm being such a big baby, but so I got in the car and I'm all emotional. And then I looked in the back seat and I did not know this, that whatever pieces are on the scene, they put in the car. Because all the cars that were in the lot, like if their engine fell out, the engine was sitting next to it. Their bumper, the bumper was sitting next to it. Whatever they could recover from scene, I did not know they bought with. So yeah, my little peanut had her appendages in the back seat. So I cleared everything out. Some stuff I had left that I didn't care about. The only thing I could not get out because the car would not turn on um, was my journey CD. That was my drive into work um music uh the greatest journey's greatest hits um and i had had one previously and something happened to it it broke that cd broke and then i found another one i was so geeked out and i bought it and it's it was just my drive into work karaoke make a fool out yourself at the red lights situation cd yes cd i know i can stream crap but i'm old school so i couldn't get that out and that made me sad i'm like <laughs> I can't get my journey out but I got everything out I'd even left a few little whatnots in there I got everything out it was mine uh and then from there we went to Toyota to rent uh, my car and I rented a beautiful 2023 Toyota Camry um it only had three miles on it when I drove out it currently has 20 miles on it I've put 17 miles on it um it's a pretty little car, but
but it's not my car. And then you guys remember, did I tell you guys or was it on Facebook that I fell in love with this car? I thought it was the new Camry and I was like, oh my gosh. And my big dude was like, well, mom, think about it this way. Now you can get that new Camry you wanted. The car that I've been going gaga over is not a Camry. It's a different brand. It's a different brand or style or whatever. And if I can remember what it is, I'm going to insert a picture of it or the name of it at very least if I can't find a good picture. But I thought it was the new Camry. So when we're in the dealership walking to the back to go rent a car, I saw it. And I'm like, oh. I'm like, I told my son, that's it. That's it. That's the new Camry. Look how beautiful it is. And then I looked. I'm like, that's not a Camry. Has the name on the back. And he stopped. He looked at it. Oh, yeah, mom. He's, they just started selling those in the U.S. They've been selling it overseas for years, for years and years and years. Uh, but they just started selling it overseas. So my son and the dealer are talking about how, yeah, and everybody's so excited about it. I'm like, it's a beautiful car. Just a beautiful car. So uh, now I know it's not the Camry. But anywho, the car I currently have, I'm renting right now. Like I said, beautiful little car. It's a Camry, but it's way smaller than mine. Mine was a wide body. It was a 2017 Sport Edition but it's wider and a little taller. This one is more streamlined, very sporty, very nice, but it's small on the inside. And my son's wears up and down, and it's the same width. But with all the juginess and all the little whatnots in the dash, I feel very claustrophobic in it. Uh, nice car, but it's not as wide and streamlined and open as my Camry was in the front. Like I couldn't even reach my Camry door. Like I had to practically pull myself up out of my seat to reach my Camry passenger door, my door, my passenger door. This one, I barely get out of seat. I can touch it. So I'm like, no, it's not the same width. And it feels very, very claustrophobic. Like I said, the dash is very fancy, but it's, there's too much going on on the dash. I feel like it's right here. Even adjusting the seats and everything. Plus, I'm nervous of driving. I am. When we were driving it back from the lot, um, there were a couple instances where people are pulling out of parking lots at a restaurant or whatever. And I, I almost panicked. And thankfully, my big dude was right there with me because he knew I was scared to drive. So he stayed until we got home. So um, he was in front of me. And he said, I knew it. He goes, when I saw those people coming out of the parking lot or the driveways, I just knew. I looked in my rearview mirror and I couldn't. He just figured that I was just going to stop. But I didn't stop. I just panicked. But I kept going. I made it home. And driving it is okay. I'm just very, very aware of how stupid drivers are. I've always been aware of how stupid drivers are. But I'm more aware now. But it is a very pretty car. Very nice ride. It's a push button. I'm old school. I'm a key girl. So I feel like the Jetsons doing that, but and it has that new car smell. I mean, it's 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 a nice little car, but I liked my model. But anywho, what was that? Where am I going with all this? Anywho, so ran to the car, came home. Little dude was still asleep. I woke him up, gave him some Tylenol. We made our appointments. Little dude has a strained muscle right here, um, but but um. You know, nothing, nothing broken, nothing twisted, nothing. He's just a sprained little muscle right here. Um, and they said heating pads and Tylenol. And his pain level, he said, was like to two. So, um, I'm sorry, I had something pop up on my phone. Um, so, uh, heat pads and Tylenol. And he was able to go to school today. Um, he didn't want to, but he was able to go to school today. Um, I... Got x-rayed because I had a spinal fusion surgery in 2008. They wanted to be sure that my hardware, my hardware guys, as they call it, my hardware wasn't misplaced, damaged, or had moved. So they did a bunch of x-rays and the hardware itself is fine. But because I'm having pain across my shoulder blades in the back, headaches, and I'm having sharp pains down my arm to my wrist, they worry that I may have a herniated or bulged disc. And with my history, with my spine the way it is, they wanted me to have an MRI and to see my ortho. I'm like, I don't even remember who the hell my ortho was. Okay, really? So I had to do some Googling and some uh, research. I had to dig out um, paperwork and stuff. And I found out who my ortho was. And he was like, go ahead and have your M MRI. Bring in the... Um, the um, 
the little disc that they give you. And um, he's going to have them send over their findings. But he wanted me to bring this thing in, which is your actual film. MRI cervical spine. Okay, so this is all new to me. Back in 2008, they didn't do that. It was doctor to doctor. So everything has changed so much. But anyway, and they're going to try and get me in. So I'm, I'm waiting to see if they can get me in today. So there's another day off work today. And hopefully they can get me in. So I'm really tired. I am in pain. I'm very hungry. Um, so I got donuts. Okay, and they're probably cold by now. I stress eat. And I'm mad and I'm sad. And I got four piggies in a blanket. Four. Yes, I know. I'm a fatty. I don't care. I need some happiness. Okay. I got those. I know. I'm not supposed to be drinking this. And I've been really, really good. And I'm about to sound real pathetic and whiny but where does good get you you want to know where good gets you smashed into downtown dallas that's what it does and i don't really really feel that way but i feel that way does that make sense i'm just mad i'm starting to get mad and annoyed because now all the phone calls are starting the phone calls from my insurance the phone calls from their insurance is a lawyer going to contact me are they going to try and sue are they going to try and come after me are they trying to be shady you were on the phone and ran a red light. I'm just thinking too much. I'm thinking too far ahead. I'm thinking of these what-if scenarios and I'm stressing myself out. But the reality right now, what's really happening right now is I am getting phone calls from my insurance. My insurance is awesome. But it's just a lot of phone calls. It's a lot of questions. The doctor's appointments are trying to run around. It's just a lot. Like the reality of it is setting in and it's just irksome. It's like, this is not what I wanted. Nobody wants it, but it, come on. Like, it's always something. Like, I had a whole hissy fit with my mommy yesterday. Poor lady. All she did was call to check on me, and I just, like, of course, it's your mommy. So, I threw up all, I did all this verbal, verbal vomit to my mommy about how I'm just so tired, and I'm so over something always happening, and I can't ever just get... 30 friggin' days of normal. It's always something. It's, I had a whole hissy fit. Poor lady. <laughs> but it's your mommy. If you can't vent to your mommy, who can you vent to, you know? But, yeah, today the plan was I was going to go to work. But we didn't finish until 2 o'clock. And then I had to go pick up, Um, I had to go get little dude. He was taking the Tylenol, okay, but they suggested Advil's a little better, and they're smaller, and they're a little slicker to go down, because cause he does have a really bad gag reflex, so he struggled a little with the Tylenol. Even though the Tylenol are coated, they're just a little bigger than Advil. So I went and we switched him over to Advil, and then, you know, picked up a few things. They were supposed to have called in prescriptions over to Walgreens, so I'm waiting around like an idiot. Like... Walgreens has the meds, but unless you specifically specify, I want Walgreens to fill it, your prescription goes to a third party who then delivers it to Walgreens. It's so friggin' stupid. Um, I need to do that. I need to get online and specifically request that Walgreens fills my crap. So we waited around for nothing yesterday. I didn't get my meds. By the time we were done, we get home. Let me make this appointment for my MRI. They didn't have any appointments until this morning. And then I had to look um, for my ortho info too. So that played into today. So I'm like, great. Another day off work. Here we go. A repeat of February. Really? We're going to have a repeat? Am I going to have one month where I have a full freaking paycheck? Well, it is what it is. Had my MRI. I knew from memory don't open your eyes. Y'all see my scar? That's my surgery scar. So I'm all robot from here. Down a little to my spine. Like in between my shoulder blades. There's metal rods and all kind of crap. I had three crack discs. But anywho. I keep forgetting what I'm saying. 
I forgot what I was saying. Shall I rewind to figure out what I was saying? But anywho. What I was going to say is do not open your eyes during an MRI because even if you're not claustrophobic, trust me, if you open your eyes, you will become one. Today um, was MRI. And like I said, I'm waiting for ortho to call and see if they can see me today or I swear. If they turn around and say, we, we got an appointment for tomorrow, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. I'm going to lose my marbles because I can't. I can't do this. I can't. I can't do this. But I was made aware by Walgreens text that my meds would be in today by 8.30. I'm like, great. I'll do my MRI. Go get my meds. Let my ortho know, hey, I'm done. Be looking out for whatever they're going to send you guys. And, um, you know, that'll be it. So, I get to Walgreens. Only one of my meds is ready, which is fine. It's a muscle relaxer. I'll take that because this is ridiculous. So, one of my other meds is not coming in until tomorrow. I don't care. It's just something. My ibuprofen's working okay, but at times it gets so painful it burns, especially here down to my forearm. It just burns. It just burning ache. So, muscle relax me. Yes, please. Um, And while I'm waiting for my... For my uh, doctor call and everything, I go outside and it's drizzling. And I'm already in a drizzly kind of mood. So I decided I'm going to go thrifting. Why? Why not? I need some happy. So I went to the little thrifty station, thrift store, and I picked up a few things. And I'm going to throw that in here. Why not? Among my... My don't. I also got a donut. I think I got this one just because it was pretty more than because it's one of my favorites. Excuse me. One of my favorites. A little coconut donut. I just love coconut. So I got that and my kolaches. And I'm already full, honestly. What I ate one. I ate one. Got my dope. Let me show y'all what I got at the thrifty station. <sighs> I keep having people calling me and I hate that I don't want to answer. I don't like talking on the phone anyway, but I have a few people in my little tiny circle who are calling to check on me and I don't want to talk. All I've done is talk. I've talked to the insurance companies. I've talked to the doctors. I've talked to enough people telling the story i don't want to talk about it i'm talking to you guys okay but i can stop at any moment i can just push stop or pause or just delete everything if i want to start crying i can cry and then just edit it out you know talking to people right now and saying the same thing over and over again is exhausting and it's it's just doing something to me. And just now, if y'all saw me looking funny at the screen, it's because one of my friends is calling. And I don't want to talk. I appreciate being checked on. But what am I going to say different? I'm hurting. I went to the dog. I don't want. Like I said, I'll tell y'all. But, anywho. Oh, it's 24 minutes in. And I'm sick of hearing myself, honestly. Ugh. Let me take one more bite. I truly am honestly sick of myself. These are cold. I don't care. Mm. I don't know how old this is, but I love it. Okay. I probably shouldn't be spending money right now. Because for all I know, some lying dirt bag who doesn't know how to drive who tried to drive off scene who doesn't have a driver's license but somehow has insurance could try and turn around and say it's her fault let's sue her there i go thinking about the what ifs anywho this is a mold for 36 raviolis it's still in the original box and it's been through some things, y'all. 
but I love the idea of it and then little basic little instructions sift flour lightly over molds place layer of dough over mold press filling into each mold cover with second layer of dough roll with rolling pin cut and ready to cook look how tiny they are i'm sorry i'm a fluffy girl this itty bitty teeny tiny ravioli ain't gonna do nothing for me but you know what i was thinking what about mini empanadas like put empanada dough and then little dollops of jam or pie filling and then your other topping and then and then roll it and you have your little individual squares and then you just deep fry them that's what i was thinking or like a pizza roll they're too small for too much filling but maybe a little of marinara and and some cheese maybe somehow chop up pepperoni itsy bitsy teeny tiny and make little pizza pockets and then deep frying. There I go deep fry. But I just thought it was adorable. I love the box. I hope there ain't critters in here. But I just, I liked it. I wonder what year it's from. I may have to do the Google on it. I thought that was really cute. Oh, I'm sorry. And it was $3. I found this and I absolutely needed it. Absolutely needed it. John 3.16 across i need this right now i'm too exhausted to pray my mom was saying mija why don't you pray as my mom i'm so tired i thanked god for keeping us safe i thank god for allowing us to walk away i thank god that it wasn't worse than it was and i've already apologized to god for being too tired to do any more than thank him i've already apologized to god if i start acting like a little brat and forget that he's there but i'm too tired to pray i am so i asked her you lift me up <laughs> You lift me up, Mom, because when you're too tired to pray for yourself, you need other people to pray for you. But I do know what's close to me. I do know what keeps me centered when I can focus. And I do know God knows I'm hard-headed and very extra. So I'm sure he understands. This girl done flew out the cuckoo nest. Uh, let me rein her in some kind of way. So I think this is him trying to rein me in. Look here. I'm still here. Chill. Okay. Calm down. I ain't left you. So this is really pretty. It has a John 316 on it. I got that and that was three bucks. I think everything I got was three dollars. Oh no. This one wasn't. This one was two dollars. This is gonna go a little bit. This is gonna go in my gallery wall. I love the little rusty brown color of it. Very, very pretty. The little porcelain one. And these I, I went straight to my mama's house because my mom has these on her little bookshelf and i think i might want to spray paint them white like a glossy white i don't know or i may leave them as is if i leave them as is it's purely for nostalgia's sake because i think they're pretty as is but if i spray paint them white it's because i just want to give them a more modern look <laughs> but it's these guys not one chip not broken at all so stinking pretty I assume they're brother and sister husband and wife oh my shoulder's starting to hurt I'm gonna have to pop me a muscle relaxer hate taking meds but they were both three although the sticker fell off of this one but so cute okay and I think that's everything there was a really cute kitty cup there and I probably should have got it but I forgot about it when I walked around But that's everything I picked up there. Oh, you guys, back to the whole Walgreens thing. I don't know about CVS or any other um, any other uh, pharmacy, but the government is still funding these tests. So if any of you are still uh, wanting to have them, just let them run your insurance when you're there, or just walk in and have them run your insurance um, and see if you can get them for free. There for a while, they were just giving them away. To anybody that wanted one but now because the numbers are going down or whatever they're now doing it based on your insurance so if your insurance will cover them you can get them for free still she gave me four of them um why not um but yeah i am you know as a matter of fact let's take some dope right now see and i didn't want to take the muscle relaxers because they make me very sleepy and i need to be awake and aware if my ortho calls 
Gosh, why are these so huge? And as I'm sitting here eating carbs and drinking soda, I need to take my diabeticals too. I haven't taken those. Ooh, the burning, the burning. I'm like a jalapeno right now. The burning right here and then it shoots down my arm. And that's one of the symptoms I was having before they found out that I had a, those three cracked discs. You guys, I was walking around for a whole dang year. Well, longer than that. My discs were already cracked. But I kept walking around with cracked discs to where the damage started showing itself. Um, but yeah, I was told you've probably been walking around like this for three years. And now your body's just now reacting to all the damage. So, oops. <laughs> I do have a high pain tolerance. I just thought it was pain from a car accident I never had when I was 19. Oh. But. Are we allowed to take medication on YouTube? I don't know. So irresponsible. Coca-Cola. Taking diabetes medication with Coke. But anyway. That's all I'm going to bother y'all with today. I'm going to. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh, what the heck? Ah, oh, that is terrible. That is the most bitter thing ever. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. That is horrible. Sorry. That was terrible. That is a bitter pill. Boo! Pew! 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 Okay. Anywho. I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to try and stay awake. I might... Well, no, I can't put it around because it hurts. So, maybe I'll read. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I need to stay awake because I'm hoping this ortho can get me in today. But... Till I see y'all again. Hopefully not whining and complaining and <sighs> being all toxic. Toxic for my non-Latino friends. I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope I ain't working your nerves. But um, I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. I hope you guys have a great Tuesday. Stay safe, guys. Watch out for stupid people all around you. Okay? Watch out for stupid people all around you. Be super vigilant because stupid is everywhere. Okay? Stupid, negligent, irresponsible is everywhere. Just be very, very careful. So, till my next go around. Hopefully without donuts and Coca-Cola. I love y'all bunches. Bye.